Alright uh, guys, welcome to this uh, new registration, to this new chapter of Tronfo. I'm El Diablo, as you know I'm Italian, so I will talk with this weird accent and today I'm not even good because here in Portugal where I live there is uh, like a, a winter storm coming so everything is really cold and uh, I'm getting cold so let me just uh, drop the podcast and uh, so we start with uh, the three perks we use the lens. The three perks are commander, are arbors, and it's the uh, the hero <coughs> push because we're gonna use a lot the the hero. As you see, we chose the lizard because I've tried the the other two, the giant and uh, or actually the golem is called and uh, the flying one. And there's no way to win uh, without trying 15 million times. So the lizard is the way to go first. Uh, Apologies for the picture, I'm gonna move it very soon, as soon as I remember that I'm not in the window at the moment, but anyway, so the first wave uh, goes like this, you actually build two houses, and then you build one arbor, the only one you can build on the southeast, and then the wave goes uh, AFK, because you don't need to do anything, the leader is gonna kill everything, let me try to turn off this again then we're gonna go for a wave uh, two which uh, it's uh, it goes like this one as well so we we're gonna upgrade the castle to level two and get the uh, the third one which gives us like thorns and 150 of more health we're gonna do the two more arbors that we can build and one house with the last two coins that we have uh, you will see that uh, this uh, is uh, not an intensive uh, money making uh, map or build if you want because you don't need it. Actually, you want to move uh, your lizard there and keep it like that. It will do the second uh, arbor and uh, you will aggro the archers and the uh, spears so that your lizard kills, kills them all without uh, the arbor getting uh, destroyed. Uh, I think this is a uh, pretty good wave probably many of the others are uh, uh, can be done better but this one is very good so you finish this like this and now we need to prepare for the following waves I'm gonna put back the audio where you, you want it very good so uh, now we have to prepare this one goes uh, without any improvements because the leader is gonna kill them all so we're gonna uh, upgrade the arbors arbors in this last pet ninja patch that they did came the upgrades are from went from seven gold to ten as you can see and then i'm gonna use the last uh, money to upgrade those houses and uh, we're gonna kill all these big uh, i don't know how to call them ornets i don't know anyways with the, the lizard watch out that the lizard is can be almost one killed or maybe you need two and then you have to wait uh, like five minutes to get back so try to <coughs> to be the target of, the, of those uh, bombs so you you keep the lizard alive and uh, you don't have any, that kind of problem let's get last two ornets and then it's gonna be another day in paradise Alrighty, now we we upgrade the hero to level 2, we get uh, some uh, uh, berserkers, so I've tried several units, actually the berserkers are the only ones that can kill uh, the, um, the ground units that we're gonna get afterwards, so those are very very hard to be killed, so either if you get knights or if you get uh, the other ones with uh, that can do AOE, you will not kill any one of those. About archers, we're gonna get the long bows and fire archers, a mix of the two, because um, the fire ones we need for the ground units, of course, and the other ones we need some range to kill uh, the uh, flying units. Uh, actually, you see that uh, I haven't purchased yet the blacksmith, and uh, I think this even can be bit done better because. I keep having it destroyed, so I, I actually get just one, maybe upgrade, but you can get three if you are good. But I finished this without uh, 
the upgrades no more than one so it's it's good right you can uh, survive with that this goes pretty easy you aggro some of the spears and then you kill them all in here you have to split uh, for the first time your units because the knights will follow <coughs> um, the troops and uh, you have a lot of flying uh, units here on the bottom so let's go the first one that we do is melee armor because again they can be very strong the ground units so we're gonna get some more of these and move them on the left, left hand side aggro some of these uh, aggro noise gather some of these uh, berserkers put them here so we won't have any kind of problems with those now actually i want to separate uh, the archers exactly if i can and the archers have to go here to protect uh, the arbor very good and these three we put them here so they can help uh, with uh, the berserkers here you go while uh, we, the hero and uh, the other hero, we were gonna go and kill all the flying units coming from uh, southeast and uh, northeast. We got two more, so we upgrade the last house, and let's go. Again, you can you wanna start you can start from the top and uh, protect the blacksmith, but uh, I prefer protecting the money, so I start from the bottom. Have the lizard kill these. Then we're gonna move the lizard a bit to the east, so he kills these three ones, then the hornets. Then we're gonna put it north, kill these two hornets, and then we're gonna run to see what's happening here, because as you can see, those archers couldn't kill everything. But we're gonna have them now. As you can see, the knights survived, the berserker survived. So we can help them out. I think that on the bottom right. Oh, I forgot, I remembered to put the video on. Very good. Yeah, this one is still alive. We're gonna kill him. And <coughs> the wave is over. So this is the first way where we can we see these uh, like wooden warriors. I don't know how it's called, but uh, these very very strong warriors that come on the ground. So we need to prepare the defenses here. We're gonna build a wall because without wall is very risky, and uh, we're gonna put our archers and the leader here, and we're gonna move the berserkers in front of them exactly then we get the archers it's just eight at the moment because we haven't upgraded yet let's upgrade this arbor to its latest development and let's do here you go eight more as you can see the blacksmith is at zero so we didn't we haven't done even the first here you go we put the arches here are close to the lizard. We got 16 more. Let's upgrade the other armor, even if it's gonna be destroyed by these six for sure. But we have it ready for the next turn and we can go. I'm gonna try to aggro these, but I can't. For sure I can because they lose your target very soon. All these guys will come. And they're gonna be obliterated by the fire archers, the lizard, and our berserkers. As you can see, this gets killed very good, very easy. Actually, if you buy other kind of troops, you will not see them losing the health that fast because one of the mutators of this uh, challenge is the uh, regeneration one and the health one. So these have a lot of uh, health and they have a lot of regeneration. That's why. It's where they are very, very hard to be killed. 
Okay, now it's time to get the final upgrade of the castle. We're going to buy the commander one because we want the lizard to follow us. And we can now upgrade all the rest of our units because now we're going to do the latest level of the of the lizard and with last shield 12 and no, i cannot do this because he's 16 so just let's get them this wave is pretty easy we got 25 of those flying uh, wizards so this gets killed very easily but let's uh, put them here and let's make a couple of towers because anyways we're gonna we want the towers for later on to help us a bit these two Lizard comes with me, now I can command him and Lizard is gonna one shot this when it's level 3 plus uh, you know we have the that uh, perk that uh, gives it 40% uh, more life and 40% more damage so this is just a matter of uh, seconds to kill them all and then we're gonna have uh, the new wave which is a second with the flying uh, things coming from uh, the east and we got a large group of uh, spears and large group of uh, archers coming from the left so again uh, we will use more or less the same strategy we did use before having uh, all the archers to defend the left part here go. We're gonna we go for the ranges, but we will probably never finish this. So we're gonna get the other 16 and we're gonna put them in the castle. We because we want to be sure that we don't lose this. Many times I lost this just because I didn't have uh, the arches there. Probably the troops on the left will destroy everything, and uh, in the meanwhile, we're gonna kill the uh, flying ones on the east and then we're gonna come and help them on the west. So the Bird suckers will stay here and get sacrificed for sure. We got the, the leader still, and we have some money that uh, we can probably keep for the next wave. Yeah, same as before, but now we can command it so we can have it uh, much closer. And uh, in two shots, they can he can kill the hornets. Here you go. You can see that my mouth is not uh, uh, talking, and I'm, uh, it's a voiceover, the one the thing I'm doing, because actually I don't have a working microphone at the moment, I'm waiting for it, and uh, we're gonna do a live session with the microphone as soon as I can. So you can see my ugly face at the moment, and uh, just listen to me. As you can see, all the berserkers were uh, destroyed so we have uh, these uh, spearmen coming over and uh, all the our archers are killing them pretty good now we use our ability to keep them back and uh, now they're gonna have just the archers that are now hitting uh, the arbor and uh, after that the wave is over we have uh, another wave now where we have uh, a lot of uh, flying uh, wounds and those uh, kind of uh, wooden uh, armored uh, troops so we build a wall the wall is going to help a lot in keeping the wooden ones uh, you know busy while we kill the flying units that are the most dangerous part of this map so we're going to put them here close to the wall we're going to build up uh, some uh, towers and Towers will kill some of the flying ones and then we're gonna get the archers inside and we're gonna go around with the lizard and kill some of the flying units. As you can see the, the blacksmith didn't finish so we put them here under the castle so they are not uh, like close to the border but they are uh, more or less protected by the other buildings. Let's go. Here you want to try to get uh, as many wizards out as you can because they can be really, really 
bed when they reach the castle. Luckily, the lizard usually targets flying enemies first. Okay, we killed more or less all of the flying enemies. Now the berserkers will keep them, these tanks, there while we obliterate them with the fire and the normal archers and the lizard. As you can see, we killed them all. I can see on the top left that there are still some... Um, some flying enemies that uh, are destroying the walls, which is a good thing. Oh, this is this is a guy who is trying to destroy my, my armor, which I don't like. So you're gonna die. You see how many how many shoots we need from uh, from the litter? It's like eight because it, they regenerate very very fast the their life. Okay, this five more, and here you go. Now we're gonna have another wave that is gonna be about 30 hornets, uh, 25 of those uh, nasty rolling uh, balls, and then we have 20 of the very very high damage flying ones. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna protect uh, everything from the flying uh, enemies. Okay, now I did something stupid, which is uh, getting all the troops together. Now I need to get the lizard out of it and it's going to be easy so we're going to move the berserkers here because those balls as soon as they destroy the wall will come here and destroy this try to destroy this wall as well then i want i need the lizard so let me take him out oh, i can't pretend this, i did this oh no we're gonna move better these archers no actually i did something stupid all right i think that now we can go where the, the lizard base is and uh, select it uh, from there, but I haven't tried it yet. They are getting, uh, the developers are getting the the game better and better, but uh, actually I I have to say that I didn't really like the, this last update because now it's not really a tower defense, it's like uh, let them destroy everything uh, and try to survive. <laughs> it's another kind of game, but we will see where it goes. So let's... Uh, upgrade these four towers to ballista so one shot one kill for the hornets and then the other two will be another ballista and then a healing tower because we're gonna get some healing for our troops especially for the lizard and myself for the last wave so one uh, one tower will select that let's go as you can see this nasty boats are coming these these small ones are really bad because they can really one shot any troop you have and look at the uh, look at the at the hornets they are coming with time so we're gonna get some of those uh, projectiles so they don't shoot our archers and the towers you can see how many they can Ooh, there were a lot let's get some more one tower is gone I want them to die before the other ones arrive. The troop, the, the the ground troops arrive, and we are almost there. Here we go. Done. All right. As you can see, these get pretty hammered by the berserkers and the archers. So it's good. Actually, this that you can see is a, it looks easy, but uh, to get here, I played uh, I don't know how many hours. <laughs> Maybe 20 or 30 hours I tried a lot of time. On YouTube you can see many many trials of this that I failed because there is not many ways of doing this map as it is right now. A couple of maybe three. Here you go. Okay, so this is the last wave before the final. So we will want to move the berserkers there. We're gonna get uh, our archers and we're gonna have a battle there. Of course, the giants will uh, will go through and uh, destroy uh, the walls and everything, and we kill them uh, during this. Let's get uh, the lizard and just to be sure, let's upgrade this last wall. As you can see, I didn't do the the east bridge so that they have just one. Uh, one path to get to the castle, so I don't need to to be worried about uh, the other path. Let's do some more uh, of these. 
towers we got still 10 gold so we can do another tower here amazing all right as always uh, in this wave try to get uh, first the flying units then the giants and then the um, the spears and lastly the how you call them I don't know the I don't know the, how do you call this uh, these uh, tower destroying machines siege energies like okay you got me I got the turn back as you can see this uh, these uh, giants destroy pretty much everything ah, I don't want that giant to get to my harbor because it's giving me a lot of money all right some uh, arches are coming from the bottom getting replenished good We have those four flying wizards, we kill them now and then we finish off this giants and latest uh, ground troops. Here you go. I think that is something here on the west. Yeah, we got uh, seven of these wizards, a couple of those siege, en siege engines, she's machines. Yeah, it's a shame that the game has this ridiculous thing, but actually without uh, walls this would be much harder to to defend. Alrighty. So let's get ready for the last wave. Last wave is about upgrading some of these towers. They will not uh, help a lot, but uh, let's go and lay. I'm gonna help a bit in killing some of those flying units at the beginning. Again, I need to get the lizard by itself. So we're gonna put all our archers as we did before in the castle to defend from flying units. And then once flying units are finished, as you can see, uh, we didn't finish the black units upgrade, so we, we even didn't get the first 25%. Uh, I'm sure we can, you can do that if you defend differently from the flying units, but uh, actually we didn't do it. So you put them here, not uh, too close on the north and uh, west part of the castle boundaries, because otherwise they, your troops are going to get killed very, very easily. And then we're gonna put here the, um, the berserkers, that will not help a lot, but they will start uh, killing some of the stuff. Let's finish this money in towers. You can even do, I think, uh, fee meals with the scarecrows to kill the flying units. I don't know, I haven't tried that, but uh, again, these your leads are gonna kill uh, most of the th stuff, so I don't know if the scarecrow is gonna have it or not. Let me know in the comments if you tried it or not. Vigo. Alright, so you start, as always, try to concentrate on the flying units. Here we have just the wizard, and then on the left we get 10 of those ornets. So let's kill this five one latest ones, alright. And we're gonna get here some uh, of these wizards and the ornaments. Ornaments again, always get, try to get the bombs. Here you go. All right, now I think it's time to get inside the castle because, as you can see, those ornaments are coming and oh, they already destroyed a couple of towers. So aggro the the bombs so that they can shoot you. As you can see, the leader is 40% uh, life and is getting healed by the healing tower that I put uh, southeast. So let's finish off all these uh, flying enemies. Okay, we got uh, five, six uh, here and then four on the bottom. Very good. You can see that there are a, a shitload of uh, uh, ground enemies on the ground, but uh, they are going to destroy the other uh, 
<coughs> facilities, barracks and stuff that we have here and then they're gonna come. You cannot uh, kill them easily like here from here so we just wait for them in the castle. Let's destroy this one, use our ability, very good. These, we have four flying ones here, we can kill them while we're waiting for the others. There are four siege machines that they're gonna try to destroy all the walls before coming to us and now we're gonna face this. That is gonna be the you know most difficult part of this latest wave. Let's see if we can kill another one or two. Yes. Uh, here you go. Let's see. These, of course, the, the fire archers are the ones that are doing most of the job here, so I get some more damage. And the fire archers just smel melt them, as you can see. It's very good. And actually, we can gather these troops and get out and kill the remaining four siege enemies. And uh, this map has been one. Let's wait for the next updates if we get more maps or if they can make some balance. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this uh, or if you want something different, ask me. I am loving this game and I will try to help you out with other walkthrough in the future. Thank you very much. Bye bye.